Yeah. I was born and raised in Scarborough. Um, I, I was there for a very, very, very uh, long time. Um, and yeah, like, you know, just growing up, like, you see, like, a lot of different things that um, affect, like, the way that you view life and, like, just, like, affect your mental and, like, your upbringing and, like, the way that you carry yourself because it's a place where you always have to be kind of, like, on your toes and, like, just make sure you're alert and just, like, you move correct because, like, you know, you never know. Like I grew up listening to like Lil Wayne and like The Game. Those are like my earliest memories of music and like they like influenced like like the rap inside, you know? Gave you all my sweaters, hard cold like November. Back in grade 11, said we're going to the league. Now my lyrics being read by people on the screen. Following my dreams, I'm a light like a beam. Nipsey, Lauren, you the realest on my team. I think it's like kind of hard to like pinpoint exactly what my sound is because like I like do so, I have like so many different like sounds, you know? It really, it's just based off like emotion. So like if I'm in like a, a sad mood, like I'm, I'm about to make a sound that's sad, you know? If I'm pissed off or whatever, my sound's gonna have more aggression, you know? So it's super hard like to pinpoint that exactly, but I just had this conversation with my homie um, and he told me like, uh, you say it's like conscious emo rap. I don't know, so if that's, if that's what it is, then cool. Messing with my mental health, I'm just trying to help myself. Luckily, I'm still alive, really seen my homie die. Running for my life, swear I'll never be the same. Flashbacks in my brain, then I, then I, I don't even want to say. They call me the one, so I'm chosen, and shit was written. Drunk inside, had to pay attention. I just feel like, like, um, the world itself is like all about, like, the vibes, right? And either, like, you're giving something that's good, or like, you, or like you're giving something that's bad. And I feel like when you make music, like you want to give something that's good because like you have the ability to like impact so much people. So I, like, I just think it's super important that what you're saying is a positive message and like it's gonna uplift people to be better and like just, you know, improve all the time. Self a bigger crib, family is taken care of. Only live once, tell me what you scared of. Dream big or don't do it at all. You regret it if you don't. Learn when you fall. It feels good, you know, because I, uh, I put in like a lot of work. Um, but at the same time, it's like there's still like so, so far to go and uh, so much to do. Wonder what I'll do with the first million. Wonder what I'll do with the first sim. Reinvest it, compound, make it ten. Need a million, yeah. Need a million, yeah. I dropped a song called Out the Slums. Uh, and basically, just uh, it tells a story of. You know, somebody going to jail for like, you know, like stupid things. Um, and it's like this, looking at like the options that like the typical, like, you know, black you'd see, which is like rap, um, sports, or like, you know, going to like the streets and stuff like that. And I feel like those roles are super like glorified, like on TV, like on Instagram, like they get a lot of um, publicity, but like the doctor or like the lawyer, or like the, you know, other important jobs, they don't get highlighted as much. And who am I to say this? Cause I'm a, I'm a rapper too, right? But um, yeah, I just think there's so much more options just for them as a whole. And I feel like, like you just gotta like, you know, be the change that like you wanna see. And like, I feel like when your actions and like your words align, then like, that's the best way to, to do that. To me, success is like, getting paid to do what you love so you know right now we're in pursuit of that and we're gonna keep going follow me on instagram dewan j martin d-e-j-u-a-n-j-m-a-r-t-i-n he won't get a taste from the slums so my niggas started selling drugs